Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. <laughs> All right. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and this is gonna be uh, kind of a different, and you'll notice behind me, there is no motor home. Trudy's not with me. As a matter of fact, Trudy is at uh, the RV hospital. She's having some, some work done. Nothing major, just some, some warranty issues that need to be sorted out. So rather than spending the night in a hotel uh, or sleeping in the back lot of the dealership. So I have come out to Double Lake Recreation Area. This is a fo National Forest Service campground that I have not visited or documented for you. So I have outfitted White Lightning with more than I will ever need to, to survive because you know Yappy she was she was always the best prepared Girl Scout and she wasn't gonna let me leave the house without all the stuff. <laughs> I'm well set for one night of sleeping in the wilds. Meanwhile, uh, let's do a let's do a site review. All right, so we're doing our site review here at Double Lake Recreation Area. We're in site number 51. And 51 is a, I mean, this is a, it's a beautiful site, especially if you got a, you know, just a pickup. You got plenty of room for a, a, a big RV. Trudy would fit in here real well. It is asphalt, but it does run down to the, or it, it slopes backwards and towards the table. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have some blocks to get your RV close to level before you push the button. Tent pad, wooden picnic table, the ubiquitous lantern hook. We have a, a accessible fire pit, but not really an accessible access to the fire pit. Right across the way from the facilities and that, that comes in handy when you don't have a shower with you 30 amp and water no it's 50 amp so 50 30 and 20 and i was i was just informed i met a couple of the, the park hosts very beautiful, wonderful, very nice people. And they were telling me about this trail, uh, that this is a scootable trail. Asphalt. So we'll be doing some scooter runs. Right now, I'm gonna get things sorted out with camp. Not a whole lot to sort out, because I don't, I've, all I have to do, I've already plugged in my power. Um, but I'm gonna eat some lunch. And then we'll go see some stuff. Stay tuned, more to come. Double Lake Recreation Area. There's one of our lakes. Uh, I have it on good authority from the park host that there's a, that there's a path that I can scoot all the way around this park, all the way around this lake. So we're gonna, we're gonna go check that out. I may do some video, I may not, we'll see. Let's go see some stuff. You're coming out to Double Lake Recreation Area. You might be, you might like to know, they sell ice. They actually have ice and firewood. So if you get out here and you realize that you need some ice, or you want to burn some wood, just go talk to your camp host, and they'll hook you up. So if you have a Boy Scout or a Girl Scout troop, you have a Scout troop, a gathering of people, young or old that want to go and tent camp together double lake recreation area it's got you covered they have a number of group tent sites now it is tent camping there's no water or power in any of these sites oh there's water community water though Pretty, pretty little area right here. All right, let's go see some more stuff. 
Double Lake Recreation Area. It does cater to the mountain biker. So apparently they've got a pretty extensive mountain bike trail, network of trails out here. Ride dirty trails, not muddy trails. That's what it says. Uh, that's the public, big public restroom for the primitive group camping, the, the group tent area. They also have a lodge over here. I guess the lodge can be used for whatever lodges are used for. Group camps indoors. A lodge does imply beds. But it could just be a good place to have a family reunion. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So the facilities, the meaning the restrooms here at Double Lake are, are very clean, but they're also pretty dated. Uh, they could stand a little refurbishing. Just saying. But there's there's two in this, this camping loop, so plenty of places to shower and take care of business. Let's go see some fun stuff. Double Lake Recreation Area. There's a really great view of the lake. With this lake. I don't know if there's two lakes or not. We're going to go check out the swim area over there. Looks like there used to be a fishing dock, but that's gone. Let's go see if we can find some more stuff. The Double Lake actually does have a swim area. I was correct. There is a beach. It's not very deep, so it's perfect for the kiddos. We're over here in the day use area. It's a pretty park. Reminds me a lot of Ratcliffe Lake. This I'm just betting that this is a CCC construction. Look at that big fireplace. That is typical. That's the rough hewn timbers and a, the great big stone fireplaces. Those boys in the CCC, they, they work their butts off. Navigate a little bit of a rough trail here, looks like. Yeah, okay, now we got a really good look at the lake over here. Ooh, that's a very rough trail. Thanks to, thanks to image stabilization, you don't have to experience this really rough trail. I wonder if there are alligators in these here waters. So, in this little lake, we have crappie, largemouth, bluegill and catfish, walleye. I didn't know we had walleye. Largemouth bass, crappie, stripe, white, sunfish. Cool, but there's no fishing pier. It's gone. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Well, it seems that all of the fishing piers are out of service. I guess funds are a little bit short over here at Double Lake. I think that was at one point a boat launch. It may still be a boat launch because you can kind of back down there. Let's go see some more stuff. Well, I found a platform that you could actually stand on and throw a hook in the water. Right here. 
it's in pretty poor shape though lots of brush so you could probably get into some, a good mess of crappie right out there let's see what else we can find i'm not sure why they call it double lake there's not two of them that i have seen but there are some really awesome tent camping sites on the opposite side now that's the rv loop over on that side of the lake group areas back there and on this side would be tent camping no rvs are allowed should have brought bobber be a great place to float my little boat Don't be surprised if you see some little people living in the woods. And I'm serious because, look, there's a little people structure. Actually, I have it on good authority that the people that were camped in this site up for about a week built that. They even had it decorated with Christmas lights. <laughs> All right, let's go see some more stuff. Double Lake Recreation Area. Such a pretty little lake. I came over here to check out the group pavilion. Although there's really not that much to see. Hold on. Gotta have both hands for the for the tiller. We'll just scoot it right on up to it. So if you've got a group of folks and you're looking to do some tent camping, you can't go wrong with this. Water, fire pit, lantern hook, lake on three sides. That's pretty cool. By reservation. Tent camping only. All right, let's go see if we can find some more stuff. Scooter runs done. Trail ride's done. Pretty much all the stuff is done. 
I was sitting here, had my feet put up, and I was like, you know, I had lots of daylight left. I'll go see if I can get find some fishing gear. And then I remembered, ha, I stuck this behind the, you, you guys may not, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I, I got a lot of videos out there. And one of those videos, the F-150 back seat. So if you have an F-150 crew cab or extended cab, that back seat that typically doesn't open, uh, there's actually a latch back there. And I have a video showing you how to get a hold of that latch and open that up. And it gives you a lot of extra storage space. Uh, I keep jumper cables and a first aid kit and emergency flares. And I keep a little Zebco telescoping fishing rod back there. Almost forgot I had that. So we're gonna go down to the lake. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Maybe we'll catch a walleye. Never done that before. Or maybe I did. I caught something up in Oklahoma. Was it a walleye? Maybe a pike. I don't know. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish. So let's go fishing. Double Lake. Double Lake Recreation Area. I actually am using my little telescoping rod and I have a bobber right out there. I did a little lure throwing, but most of the jigs I have with me uh, are old and discolored and I wasn't getting any bites. So I thought I'd try meat stick. Smells kind of like bologna. Got a lot of oil in it. So maybe some catfish will be attracted to it. Or maybe some perch. Something. Such a beautiful setting. But it's spoiled by the road noise and you know you, you, modern society it's getting harder and harder to get away from it so we have a, a busy highway here and apparently we're we're in the approach for the approach flight path for an airport in the houston area but if if you can block out the road noise this is a great place and just look at that water how clear how still it is it's crystal clear it would be perfect for putting a kayak on double lake come check it out you'll enjoy it well good morning Good morning from Double Lake Recreation Area. Slept pretty good last night. Of course, you know, we get this far south, everything is just humid. I mean, it's humid. Everything is wet this morning. That's where the, the truck came in handy. I didn't have everything get wet last night, thanks to the big heavy tarp for the scooter and having everything stored inside the, the pickup. It's an experience camping in the pickup. A lot more work than I remember. You'd think it'd be simple, but it's not. We're talking about Double Lake. Last night after dark, it got quiet. There's a lot of road noise from the, the highway right here beside the campground all day, except after dark. So about nine o'clock, it got quiet. 
uh, and then it was very peaceful, very peaceful here. Slept like a baby. Well, as much like a baby as a 55, 56 year old man can sleep, I slept pretty good. Got hot because I came prepared for cool weather, not hot weather. We're pretty well done here. There's not much else to see or do other than trail rides. And uh, I gotta go pick up Trudy. And we're gonna go look at, I uh, can't tell you that. We're gonna go look at something we're excited about. That'll be a whole video, maybe even a whole new channel. So stay tuned. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, man, I sure appreciate you stopping by. And if you've not already, I would be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. If you found this video about Double Lake Recreation Area to be valuable, entertaining, and helpful, I would appreciate you clicking on the thumbs up. When you click on that thumbs up, it tells the YouTube algorithm that this is a good video and so it'll share it with more people. So it helps. We appreciate that, those of us who create videos and post them on YouTube. We YouTubers really appreciate you doing that. For those of you who have been following along, man, thank you. Uh, I am so honored. That's, that's why I'm out here in this beautiful setting, drinking coffee, talking to the camera. It's because of you guys. I appreciate you helping me and, and staying along and coming along for the ride. In, in reading up on the Sam Houston National Forest, I found that there are actually several other forest service campgrounds here in Texas that I, I was not aware of. So that means we're gonna be doing a lot more camping in the Piney Woods this year, this coming year. We'll be, we'll be getting deep into the Piney Woods. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm most deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. That's why I'm out here. And for my patrons, I, I don't have a cover on, so I, I cannot give you the salute. But I can, hey, raise the flag. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I really do. Thank you so much for, for your patronage. All right, we're done here. Got to go pick up my motorhome. Y'all come back now, you hear?